Productivity has now become an everyday watchword. It is crucial to the welfare of the industrial firm as well as for the economic progress of the country. High productivity refers to doing the work in a shortest possible time with least expenditure on inputs without sacrificing quality and with minimum wastage of resources. Today the term productivity has acquired a wider meaning. Originally, it was used only to rate the workers according to their skills. The person who produced more either faster or harder was said to have higher productivity. Subsequently, the emphasis was laid to improve the hourly output by analyzing and improving upon the techniques supplied by different workers. A system of measurement was then evolved to compare the improvement made in relation to the rate of output and in order to improve productivity further, machines were introduced. Manufacturers of machines started incorporating new features with the help of latest technological developments. Today we have machines that are completely controlled by computers. Computers have now become powerful tools towards improving productivity. Diving deep into the concept, productivity is the quantitative relation between what we produce and what we use as a resource to produce them, that is, arithmetic ratio of the amount produced, as output, to the amount of resources, given, as input. So, productivity can be expressed as, productivity, equals to, the ratio of output to input. Productivity refers to the efficiency of the production system. It is the concept that guides the management of the production system. It is an indicator of how well the factors of production, land, capital, labor and energy, are utilized. The European Productivity Agency has defined productivity as, productivity is an attitude of mind. It is the mentality of progress, of the constant improvements of that which exists. It is the certainty of being able to do better today than yesterday and continuously. It is the constant adaptation of economic and social life to changing conditions. It is the continual effort to apply new techniques and methods. It is the faith in human progress. A major problem with productivity is that it means many things to many people. Economists determine it from gross national product, or GNP. Managers view it as cost-cutting and speed-up. Engineers think of it in terms of more output per hour. But the generally accepted meaning is that it is the relationship between goods and services produced and the resources employed in their production. Productivity is viewed differently by different people. Economists view productivity as the ratio of output to input, as partial productivity measure and total productivity measure. Accountants view productivity as financial ratios and budgetary variances. Behavioral scientists view productivity as labor utilization, in terms of man days. Engineers view productivity as capacity utilization, production per man hour, and manpower. So, based on these discussions we can stand to different definitions of productivity. Definition number 1, productivity is a function of providing more and more of everything to more and more people with less and less consumption of resources. Definition 2. Productivity is the volume of output attained in a given period of time in relation to the sum of the direct and indirect efforts expended in its production. Definition number 3. Productivity is the measure of how well the resources are brought together in an organization and utilized for accomplishing a set of objectives. Definition number 4. Productivity is concerned with establishing congruency between organizational goals with societal aspirations through input-output relationship. And definition number 5, productivity is the multiplier effect of efficiency and effectiveness.